Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Now, I'm sure you've seen a lot of great work. You've seen Floyd spar. What, what is it about Floyd that stands out to you? You signed him with the promotions. Floyd's just a, a beautiful all-around fighter. Um, and people say you know, that he don't have much punch because he hasn't knocked out really anybody in the welterweight division. He hasn't knocked out really anybody since Ricky Haddon, you know? And um, But Floyd, Floyd, when he was a 135-pounder, he was knocking everybody out. At 130, he was knocking everybody out. Floyd's just a perfect all-around fighter, and his timing is it's just between his timing because Floyd's not the fastest. Floyd's not, not the strongest. But Floyd is the smartest. Why do you say it so confidently that he's the smartest? He he's in there with people that are bigger and stronger than him, that have no reason that they have no reason not to beat him, and he beats him because he's smarter than them, and he works the hardest too. He does work the hardest. So you've seen these things. You've seen him. I've work seen him. Them. He works hard. He works hard. And you've seen him uh, fight people bigger. He shit. Look, look at fucking Canelo. Well, I know that. I'm saying behind the scenes stuff. Behind I know, cause, scenes yeah, stuff? Canelo is old. Well, I mean, when he was getting ready for uh, uh, Maidana, he was sparring people 170, 180 pounders. 171? You know what? Someone else told me that, too. Yeah. He was sparring people that big? Yeah. Actually, there was one dude he sparred, right? Um, I don't remember his name. I don't even want to say his name if I didn't remember. But That's cool. I had a... I had, uh, he had went over there and he was telling my dad over there at Toko, right? Oh, that we were, that, oh, that he was sparring Floyd for the Maidana camp, all that stuff, right? And he was done sparring, like, because it was right before the Maidana fight, the first one. And, uh, so I had sparred him and I had stopped him in a round. I hit him with, a, I think it was an uppercut. I don't remember, but I had, like, stopped him. I had wobbled him out. And, um, he was, like, 170, 180 pounds. He was big. And... I don't know, I remember that because, I mean, this was, this was before I was even signed with Floyd or anything, you know? Uh, and I I took that as, like, an accomplishment, you know? Yeah, definitely fighting someone that much bigger. Yeah. And, you know, he was, he was holding his own in there with Floyd, you know? And Floyd's an amazing fighter, like I said. Floyd makes... All of Floyd's sparring partners get outclassed completely and embarrassed by him. Just like that? Just like that. Wow. Who have you sparred with? You don't have to detail them, but who? Just name some names of the people you spar with. Mm, as world champs, uh, I sparred Zab Judah. I sparred Gamboa. I sparred Rancid Barthelemy. I sparred. Uh, I sparred a lot of people. I can't. I really can't think of them. All. I sparred a lot of. Uh, I sparred Mario Barrios too. Oh, that's my dude. Shout yeah. out to him. Shout out to Texas. Yeah, no, Mario Barrios is doing good. I'm waiting for him to see uh, whenever he gets a world title fight. Yeah, definitely. Um, upcoming fights, Mike Garcia, Robert Easter. They're in your division. Mike Garcia going to kill him. Say it again. The bill was going on. Mikey Garcia going to kill him. Why do you say that? Mikey Pop. Mikey Pop and uh, he's, Robert Easter going to try to fight Mikey. And you do not go and fight Mikey. Explain. Explain to fans. Mikey. Let's just say like this, do not ever try to go over there and fight Mikey because Mikey's going to crack your ass and put you to sleep. And, well, I don't know, you can't really run away from Mike either because Broner tried that too, so. Right. I don't know, I think Mikey's going to kill him. Would you like to fight um, either guy? Mikey, uh, that's not something I'm really too interested in. I'm too young for that. Okay. What Robert about East, Easter? Robert Easter, I kill him. I think I kill him. I don't know. He's a. Uh, I want that fight to happen. I'm not on that level yet. You know, I there's no way that I'm I'm gonna be on that level until you know I I get up there. You know, there's no way I'll fight him until I get up there. So, not much to talk about, but I think I'd kill him. Definitely. What about a fight like Ryan Garcia? I know he has the fan base. A pro fight. Do you see that as being something doable in the next year and a half or so? Or do you think they wouldn't because of your past history with them? I I doubt it's gonna happen. I honestly doubt it's gonna happen. I don't I don't think uh, him nor Deloy or Golden Boy wants it. And um, 
they're gonna they're gonna take the easy route. They're not gonna take the hard route with me. But would you take it if if they could make in it in a with... heartbeat? Actually, I'll take that shit right now. Like right now today like with right, a pink hat right. on. You gonna take it right? Yeah, now? yeah, with the pink hat, with the pink hat, but with the with the pretty little uh, pussy on it. <laughs> Let me see your hat. What is? <laughs> Where did you get this hat? Are you true? I think I got it at Zoomies. This is my favorite hat now. Joshua versus Wilder. If that fight were to happen, who would you favor? I got I got Wilder. I got Wilder. Why'd Wilder. you say that? Um, I I just like the wide how Wilder is very unorthodox, and Wilder can knock you out with either hand, and he doesn't even have to hit you clean, and he can knock you out. Definitely. So where can the fans stay in touch with Roley and his crazy adventures? Follow me on Instagram at Rollies, R-O-L-L-I-E-S-S-S, -S -S, on Instagram and Twitter, sign up for KOs. Sign up for KOs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make sure y'all check them out. You don't have an upcoming fight, but we'll be watching, and hopefully you get something on the on the calendar. Hopefully uh, July. Okay. Let me know, and I'll try to come out here. All right. Thank you.